hitting the highway A couple of friends With new adventures Round every bend Whether racing fast Or getting towed They're ever together Cars on the road Hello everybody and welcome to part 2 of my Cars on the Road review If you haven't seen part 1 Please go check it out as it contains my thoughts on the first four episodes. Now we're going to review the main in five. So, let's get started. So, episode five starts with McQueen, Mater and Ivy at the Whale Car Wash. Which is actually scrapped concept art from the first Cars movie. It's nice to see old ideas popping up every now and again. So, McQueen, Ivy and Mater are now on the road when they stop by a circus. Ivy naturally goes and investigates. Mater and McQueen follow pursuit. And this wouldn't normally be a problem, but McQueen scared the clowns. <laughs> then they go and watch a show hosted by two female cars who I guess are lesbians? I'm pretty sure of that. But, or you know, you can correct me if I'm wrong. I've heard some people complain about the K character and it should the model used k uses the same model as sterling who was the main character from cars 3 so people naturally thought that sterling would return but honestly this whole big sterling hype up that was kind of mattel's fault then they watched the show and can i just say that it's completely unrealistic this is basically the episode that just said fuck realism and I know somebody in the comments is going to like, Oh, well, Cars is exactly the most realistic universe in the world. Well, yeah, but even this episode is pushing it. Ivy gets her own little part in this by doing the most unrealistic shit ever. But you know what? I'm just going to let it slide because this episode is already unrealistic enough as it is. I'm stumped on where to put this episode. Because very much like The Legend, the episode before this one, I prefer it more than Dino Park, the pilot episode. But, but don't think it's better than Lights Out, the second episode. So very much like The Legend, it gets a good rank of a 7 out of 10. For our next episode, we are focusing on trucks. While admittedly this episode does have a little bit of a weak story, in my opinion, the visuals and music make up for it. That's not to say that, you know, good music and good visuals make carry everything. But it works here because I like both the visuals, they suit it, and the song that they use, Bloody Slaps. However, while the music and visuals do carry this episode, it can't save its ranking entirely. As I will admit, if you're not a fan of big songs coming out of nowhere, then you're not going to like this episode. However, if you do, then I think you'll like it. And that is why this episode gets a ranking of a 6 out of 10 more than it deserved but that is because of the visuals and the music in our next episode we go into territory of films as a zombie horror movie is being shot naturally as he's so popular mcqueen gets casted in it soon turns out he's as bad as an actor as snorlax is at running an empire <laughs> then mater gets his chance in the spotlight and it soon turns out that he's actually better than mcqueen and this is what i like about this episode it puts some of the emphasis on Mater and some of the stuff he can do, instead of just be it being on McQueen all the time. I really like that about this episode. It puts more emphasis on Mater being better than McQueen. Especially since in the last episode, he was slightly doubting himself. But in this episode, he just shines all the way. After a day of shooting, they come back the next day to find out that they've taken a completely new direction and that it's now a musical. Yeah, for some reason, I'm not too big on the ending here. Maybe it's the song, visuals, I'm not 100% sure. I'm just not big on the ending here. Though I do like that we get to see Ivy again, that gets a good point from me. I would love to rank it higher, but the ending kind of drags it down for me personally. And like I said, I'm not too big on the ending, and for that reason, it gets a 7 out of 10. In the penultimate episode, Road Rumblers, McQueen and Mater get dragged into this sort of like Mad Max scenario thingy. I will say this though, I do like both of their Road Rumbler looks, it suits them both. However, if there were any real gripes with this episode, 
is that it feels very anticlimactic. Let me explain. So the trailer set this up as like a big wow, woo, this is going to be a good episode. But yet, it just wasn't. I will say though, I do love the shots used before the battle. They were really cool and unique. Even if the battle was temporarily cut short, thanks to McQueen's little speech. However, this speech actually kind of works against the episode. Not morally. Morally, it's good. But it kind of falls flat for me because it means the battle is rushed and not even like a minute. And all the big argument thingy gets resolved off screen. Yeah, unfortunately, the rush nature of the ending kind of drags this one down and more so than B-Movie, the last episode. But I'm not going to say this episode was bad. At least the build-up was nice. And for that reason, it saves itself from getting a 5 out of 10 to a good old-fashioned 6. And after 8 whole episodes, we finally make it. So they basically just go there, and when they get there, they see Cruz. I do have some gripes with Cruz in this episode, but I'm going to save them for when the time is right. So as it turns out, Mater's sister is actually marrying Cruz's cousin, and that's a nice way to bring Cruz into the series. And after a nine whole episode at ARC, we finally get to meet Mater's sister. And it turns out that she and Mater get along as well as both South Magnets trying to attract. And as soon as this starts all hell just breaks loose and this that basically just starts a whole ass competition with Cruz refing it here is my main issue with Cruz in this episode she basically just has any job in the world and it can provoke some good comedy jokes but what else she gonna do with her other than that just saying so Marto ends up winning the competition and then two of them just get into an argument about you know who's better, you know, blah, blah, typical sibling shit. And then Cruz just basically just says that she dabbles in family therapy and the whole drama gets resolved off screen. Yeah, that's the main reason this episode kind of falls flat for me. If you're gonna have some sort of conflict in the episode, can you at least resolve it on screen? However, this takes so long that the priest just straight up just diffs. He's just like, Fuck this shit, I'm out. Mm -mm. And everything's just down and gloom until Cruz says that she's an official... Okay, now you're pushing your luck, Cruz. So Cruz announces they're married and... Yeah, this is kind of where most of the episode just ends. But there's still one main thing that happens in the episode. And Mater does a little speech. And this, in my opinion, is a nice way to bring the series full circle. And it's a really, really good speech. Then we get one final scene of McQueen suggesting to Mater that they should drive back. And Mater, of course, agrees. This is a nice way to bring the series full circle again. As originally, McQueen was hesitant to go on a road trip. But at the end, he's the one that's like, you know what? Let's go. Let's drive. Which is, again, very nice. Again, nice few exchange lines between McQueen and Cruz. And then they drive off ending the series as a whole. So what do I think of Cars on the Road? Well, I think it's a bloody good series. If you haven't seen it, I do recommend checking it out, even if you're not a Cars fan. This doesn't mean the series has its faults though. There are definite faults in the series. But for me, the good outweighs the bad, and it makes it a good watch. Now, where does Yoshi Reviews go now? Well, I've got a few ideas at the back of my head, but I think I've got one more than above the rest, and it involves something I've got into recently. Don't worry, there will be another video explaining what I'm going to be reviewing in this series as a whole. But that, until then, all I can say is that I've been Yoshi, you've been watching Yoshi Reviews, and until the next review or video, have a good one.
cars on the road.